In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a teddy bear that you can use in animation projects and rig as a character to animate at a later date. You could even 3D print this 3D model made in Maya if you wanted to, or use it in other software. To get started, I've already inserted some image planes. If you want to know how to insert image planes, look at the previous video in this modeling series. So now what I'm going to do is create a cube. If I click on the cube in the modeling tool shelf, then it just comes in to the middle. I'll press W to move it up. I want to see more of my image, so I'm going to click this icon to hide the outliner, and then I'm gonna look at four views. I can reposition the views by holding Alt or Option and middle mouse button. Wherever I hover, it will move. So now what I wanna do is position this cube kinda in the middle. And before I do much else, I wanna turn on Symmetry Object X up in the top. I can do this at the top here, or I can do it over in the Modeling Toolkit on the right. Then I'm going to press R to scale, and I'm going to scale it like this. So now it's more like the size of the head. Then I'm going to hold Shift and right click, and I'll select Smooth. I only want one division. I'll press Q and off click. Then I'll click the object again, and I'll press R to scale, and I'll scale it up just a bit bigger. And then I'll press W to position it where I think, maybe scale it a bit more. Now I'm going to orbit in the perspective view, and I'm going to right click and select face. Now I can select these faces, and since I have symmetry on, notice that all the faces are selected. Then what I'm going to do is scale them down vertically, Press E to rotate, and then I'll rotate them a bit. Press W, and I'll move them over to the side so it looks more like where the bear should be. At this point, I'm going to do just a little bit of shaping of the head before moving on. So I'll right click and I'll go to Vertex, and then I can marquee select, press W, and move them around to where I want them to be. Just move them down and try to model it so it looks like the bear that you're making. Reference images are taken with perspective, so when you're working in orthographic views, you can't be beholden to it. You have to use your own creativity a little bit. I think that's looking pretty good. We could make it a little bit bigger here on the top, but I think it looks fine for what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and select these faces again. I right click, go to face mode, and then I'm going to press R to scale, and I'm gonna scale them flat again. Then I'm going to press Control or Command E to extrude, and then I'll press W to move them straight down. Then I'll press R to scale them, and I'll scale them in universally. This is going to create the neck, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press G on my keyboard. This will repeat the last command. I'll press G, then I'll press W to move them down, and then I'm going to scale them. It looks like I need to scale this a little bit wider in the front for the bear, so I'll go ahead and do that. So here I'm gonna to switch to edge mode and then I'll press R to scale and I'm just gonna scale it in this direction. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Actually, I'll select face mode and then I'll press R and I'll scale these faces out to be about that size. Then I'm going to press command or control E to extrude and I'll press W and I'm going to move down. Then I'll press R to scale, and I'll scale this out universally. And I wanna kinda of look at the front and side images so I can see what's happening. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So on the side here, I'll press G, then W, and I'm just extruding down one more time. I'll press R to scale. I'll scale out universally because we want this to be round. I'll press G, then W to move it down. And here I wanna pay attention the leg is starting, so I wanna make sure I have some geometry right here. And then I'm gonna just scale this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and press G, then W, and I wanna go down halfway through the hip. And then I'll press R and I'll scale this back in. And then now I wanna go ahead and get down to the bottom of the torso. So I'll press G one more time, then W, and I'll bring this down. Then I'm gonna press R and I'm gonna scale it in universally and I'll probably move it back just a little bit. I'll press W and move it back. There we go. Now, if you look over here on the front view, you notice 
our little bear is looking a little skinny from the front side. Looks good from the side, but not the front. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll go ahead and I can select one face, then hold shift and double click. It'll select that whole face loop. I'll press R and then I'll just scale this out like that. Let's go ahead. I think these ones want to be in those. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and then double click and then scale them in. And I think I want to get the bottom ones scaled in just a little bit more here. So I'll orbit around and then I'll select these by holding shift and I'll scale them in this direction or that center torso. Yeah, that's looking good. And I think it looks good from the side. Okay, so now I need to make some extrusions for the legs. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and split the face up just a little bit. I can hold shift and then select the multi-cut tool. And then if you hold control, you can put in edge loops. And notice it's gonna put in two edge loops because I'm on symmetry mode. This will give us some separation at the bottom here for the legs. We need to go ahead and select the legs and we'll change the geometry. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and shape the torso just a little bit more. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to vertex mode. I'll press Q to get rid of the multi-cut tool and then I'm gonna orbit. And I think I just want to move these up. So I'm gonna press W and I'll just move that up to make that a little bit more round where the hip insertion is. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. And then now I just need to fix these other vertices, round these up, and then in the front, the same thing. So we'll go ahead and move these vertices up and this one up as well. And this will start making everything nice and round. We will, of course, smooth this later, but we wanna be able to have it look nice and round before we even smooth it. So it's important to make your polygon model nice and smooth from the beginning. And then I think I'm gonna move this vertice in. No, I'll leave it right there. So now I'm gonna switch back to face mode and I'm gonna select these faces. And then you could select this face too if you wanted the legs to go further in, but I think for this model, this will be fine. And then what I'm gonna do is press Command or Control E to extrude. Then I'm gonna press W. Then I'm gonna move this out a little bit. And then what I wanna do is press R for scale, but I don't wanna scale based on the world. I wanna scale based on the component. So if you look in the modeling toolkit in Maya, you can change how your selections work. And then I'm gonna select component. So now I can scale right at that component. And you can see how I flatten those legs there. It's a nice little trick that you can move those around. A lot of times you want to work with component axes. So now I'm gonna to go to vertex mode by right clicking, and then I just need to press W, and I want to move this around. And notice this is a setting that's tool dependent, so if I wanna move by component here, I can select it for moving, and that allows me to move right on that surface, which is really convenient to shape that. And then I'm gonna go here, and we can shape all those as we need to. So I think I'm gonna to go to face, then I'll select all these, and I kind of want to scale them in this direction. So I think that looks better, especially from the top. And then from the side, I think they look pretty good. So now I'm going to press Command or Control E to extrude. I'll press W, and then I'm going to move them out over here. Then I'm going to press R to scale, and I'll scale them up universally. And then I can press E to rotate because we want to start transitioning down to vertical legs. And then I'll press R. Scale that in just a little bit. I'll press G to extrude, then W to move. I'll move it down. And now I definitely want to rotate these a lot. And then I'm gonna press R to scale them in. And this is where I want to go ahead, add some geometry for the knees. So I'm gonna press G again, then W to move. And I'll move this down and I'm gonna press E to rotate. And this will give me enough geometry that I can flex my legs when I rig the character later. Then I'm gonna press G again, press W, and then just bring this down, have two face loops right there, and I'll, I'll press E again. Perfect. Now I wanna kinda of take a look at what's happening before I make the rest of the leg and the feet. If you notice here, I want to add a little bit more roundness, so I'm gonna to go to vertex mode, and then I want to move these vertices over. 
And I'm going to go ahead and switch back to world. And then that way I know I'm just moving them in this plane. And you can see here what I'm doing is just moving these back to make it a little bit more round. I can do this on the front and the back. This will be character and model dependent. I'm going to move this one back. And then if the leg gets skinny, we can always scale it to be thicker in that direction. But we want it to be round when we're looking at it from the side. As I move these over, you notice that you can see more of the geometry. And then, for example, this one, probably want to move that back out. Yeah, that's starting to look better. Move a few more of these vertices back in. This one went a little bit far. Always look at it from multiple angles to see what's happening. And I think this one needs to be just pushed out a little bit. Great. So now we can continue extruding down for the rest of the legs and then the feet. So I'm going to go ahead and orbit in perspective mode. Right click to select faces. It remembers my previous selection. I'll press Command or Control E to extrude, then press W. And I'm going to move down. I'm going to press G just to have enough geometry there. Press W move down, and then I'm going to go ahead and scale this flat, just in case anything moved. And now I'm ready to extrude for the feet. I'm gonna make the feet more frontwards facing rather than the way the teddy bear looks. So I'm going to press G, then W, and I'm gonna move straight down half a foot. Let's see, do I wanna scale? Yeah, I probably wanna scale that just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to press G again. Then I'll press W and I'll come down to the bottom of the foot. And we'll scale that out just a little bit. And now I need to select the front faces that I'm going to extrude forward for the feet. So I'll go ahead and orbit here. And then I'm going to select these four faces by holding the shift key. Make sure you get all four selected. So I'm going to select this one this one, this one, and this one. Then I'll press Command E or Control E to extrude, press W, and then I want to go ahead and orbit, and then I'll move this out. I'll press R to scale. Make sure you're in world scale, then I'll scale this flat for my foot. Maybe leave just a little bit there. And then I want to orbit around and I'm going to extrude out a few more pieces for the foot. We could start to round this first if we wanted to, I'm gonna switch to vertex. I'll grab this piece, press W, and then I'll just move these points in so it starts to become more of a round teddy bear foot. I think the bottom I'll keep pretty flat. And then I'll move this one down just a little bit more. And then probably this, cause it's tapering down. And then I just need to add a little bit of the front of the feet. So I'll switch to face mode. And then I'll press G to extrude again, W. And then we'll just move this out. R to scale, scale it down universally. Let's press three to see what it looks like with smoothing. We probably want some supporting geometry right on the edge of these toes, so we can go ahead and do that. I'll go back to box mode, and I'm gonna press G to extrude again, then press W, and I'll just go ahead and pull it out just a little bit. R to scale, scale down universally. Now if I press three, Notice it holds the shape of the teddy bear foot a little bit more because it has that extra geometry there. We could also do the same on the bottom with the multi-cut tool if you wanted to have more flat feet. So hold shift, then right click multi-cut. Then if you hold control, you can go ahead and put an edge loop down in the bottom here. And then if I press three, notice that the feet stay a little bit more flat. So this still needs some final sculpting and shaping, but we're getting our form there. I'm gonna go back to box mode. Now we need to add some arms. So I'm gonna orbit around, I'll right click and get face mode. If you have the multi-cut tool selected, make sure you press Q, that way you're back to the selection tool and you don't accidentally cut some things. For the arms, I wanna start with four of these boxes here, and then I'm going to press Command E or Control E to scale, then press W to move. And then I'm going to move these out just a little bit, but now I want to scale them to the component. So I'll press R, then over here in my modeling toolkit in Maya, I'll select component, and then I'll scale them flat. And then I'll also scale them universally down a little bit. Then I'll press W and move them up. And I think I wanna press E to rotate them nice and flat. W again, maybe move them back down. Yeah, that's looking good. And now before I start extruding these, I wanna go ahead and 
switch to vertex mode to edit some of these vertices because it'll be easier to do now. So usually if you have four faces to make something round, you have to move the corners in and the center points out. So you can do that by just moving these corner pieces in and that's just gonna make it look more round. You can see how it starts to look more like an octagon or a stop sign. Perfect, so now that's a little bit more round. Let's look at it from the front here. Looking good from the front. I think it could be a little higher for our reference image, but I think it'll be fine for our character. I'm gonna right click, go back to face mode. Then I have those faces still selected. I'm on world. So then I'm gonna press G to extrude again, then W. Then I'm going to go ahead and press Command or Control E to extrude, then W to move. I'll move out and then I'll press E to rotate. And I'll rotate that down, press W to move it in a better position. And then I probably wanna scale it down just a little bit. Then I'm going to press G again and then W. And then I'll move out towards the arms here. And this is where I wanna add some geometry for the elbow. So I think I'll keep it about the same thickness since it's just a stuffed animal. I'll press G again, then W. I'll come this way, G, then W, move again. That'll be some geometry for the arm. This time I am gonna scale it down because we do have to start to taper towards the hands and paws here. Now I'm gonna press G again, then W, and I can go ahead and move this one down. And then R to scale. And then probably E to rotate just a little bit. Then G again, W, we'll move this over, just like this, R to scale down, and then G, and then W to move. And then now we kind of need to start scaling it only in the vertical direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm scaling component-wise. And then I'll press G to extrude, W to move and then R to scale, scale in that vertical direction, G to extrude again, W to move, R to scale, and then I think we'll just add some supporting geometry right on the edge there. So then we'll go ahead and press G to extrude again, then W to move, move it out, R to scale, and then we'll just scale it down universally right there. Let's press three to smooth. So we need some shaping on the top there, but we can continue to do that in just a moment. So now we need to add our face. So we'll add a snout and we'll go ahead and add the ears. So I'll zoom out here and we can see where the snout is and we can add more geometry. Most of this we can do with extrusions, but before I get started, I'm gonna add some more geometry with the multi-cut tool. Hold shift and right click, you get the multi-cut tool. Then hold control and I can insert a loop here or have more geometry for the eyes and I can insert a loop here to have more geometry for a mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go back to face mode, press Q. Then I wanna select these six faces on the top. I'll press Command E to extrude. And now I have a loop going around where the eyes will be. I'm gonna do the same thing down on the bottom here and I'm gonna press G to extrude again. And now I have locations that I can make my mouth and my nose. So now I want to scale the mouth in because the bear is kind of narrow in the front of the face. So we'll scale that in. And then I wanna go ahead and switch to vertex mode and I'll move some of these vertices around so that they line up more with the nose. I'll move these over as well. So it's a big part of the face. And then what we can also do is start to shape the face because we just started with our basic cube that we smooth, but now we need to shape this a bit more. So now we just continue to make this more round like a teddy bear. We can move all of these pieces back and then just make sure that you're always looking at different views of what's going on. So that's looking good. I think I wanna increase the side over here. We'll bring this down. 
And so now we just need to add some teddy bear ears and we need to add the teddy bear snout and eyes. So to add the snout, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these pieces here by selecting face mode. And I'll select all of those. So I wanna go up into the eye here and then I'm going to press Command or Control E to extrude. I'll scale these and then press W. I'll orbit around and then I'm gonna move this all out and this is going to be my bear snout. And then I can press R to scale it. I probably wanna scale it out just a little bit. And then I'll press E to rotate. I'll rotate that. R to scale. And then we can press G to extrude it again. Then press W and we'll pull this out. And then we can press R to scale and scale that down a little bit. So now we have our bear snout and we can add any more geometry that we need as we go, but we wanna keep it simple right now while we're getting our main shape together. So I need to move some of these vertices. Our snout got a little bit pinched down in the back here, so we'll move all these out. And then we wanna move these in so it's a little bit more bear-like. Anytime that you see a bunch of vertices that are flat next to each other and you're not hard surface modeling, it's a good indication that you need to move things around. If I switch to three, it will look nice and smooth, but we don't wanna rely on smooth mode because we want a good model that has the vertices and the faces in really good spots. So just kind of keep moving around and selecting the pieces and modeling it so it's nice and round, even when it's in box mode. That's the best practice. So I'm gonna add some more geometry to all of that eventually, but I can move this down, try to keep the polygons relatively similar size. Not everything is exactly the same size. Move this up. Okay, that's starting to look good, looking like a bear. So now we need to add the eyes. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and get the multi-cut tool, hold shift, multi-cut, then hold control. And what I wanna do is go ahead and put some slits right here. So then I have four spots to create the eye sockets. Then I'll switch back to face mode. I'll press Q to get rid of the multi-cut tool. And then I'll select all of these faces. I'll press command E to extrude. And then I'm just gonna scale those in a little bit. And now I wanna to switch to vertex mode to go ahead and shape these before I do any more. Remember, we want to press W and then move these so that the corners are in and the centers are out to make something round. So you can see how it starts to become more round. And then you can transition to the rest of the face by moving these vertices. I'm gonna to have to look at the side here because things are probably getting moved around a bit. So we'll move to the side view. And remember a face is round, so you wanna make sure that all of these edges and vertices are starting to wrap around the head. So don't just move them in one direction, you need to keep moving them around the edges. So you can see how this is starting to become a bit more round as I move these vertices more towards the back of the bear's head. Okay, so then we can go ahead and check that in smooth mode. That's looking nice, we need to have pull these vertices here and add some more elements. But let's go ahead and get the ears in. So I'm gonna go back to box mode. We wanna add some extrusions here. So I think I'm gonna put the ears, select faces. We'll grab all four of these pieces. I think that's enough geometry for the ears. Then we'll press Command or Control E. We'll extrude. And now I wanna to switch to vertex mode because I wanna shape this before I get all the things. So I can hold Shift then period to expand my selection, press R to scale. Then I'm gonna scale it in this direction and scale it down just a little bit this way. And then again, and then I'll scale it a bit more this way. Now I wanna go ahead and get the W move tool in Maya and start moving these around. You can see with that scale, I got some of the pieces dug into the side of the head. So we can just move these around and make everything round again. And as we get more geometry, we can make the bear head rounder. When it was that original cube, we didn't have much geometry, so there wasn't much option to make things round. But as we continue to add geometry for all our features, then we can make more and more pieces nice and round.
So for example, you can see the back of the head looks pretty flat. The actual stuffed animal is pretty flat itself, but we can make something more round than the stuffed animal. So looking from the top, I can see that these vertices need to come out. And then I'll bring this in. So now what I want to do is extrude these ears. Just make them a little bit more round before I do that. And then I'm going to switch to face mode. Then select all of those faces and I'll press Command or Control E to extrude, press W, and then I'll move them out. Let's see, we can scale that up just a little bit. I'm going to switch to component scale settings, scale those up, press G to extrude again, and then W to move, move this out. And then I want to move to the side. We want one more extrusion, so we'll press G. Press W again, move that out, and now we can start to round off those ears. Probably this face loop wants to be scaled a little bit bigger, so we'll go ahead and select component scaling, and then R. Great, that makes that larger, and then I'm going to switch back to world to move it down, because I got a little bit high on the head there. Then we'll shift double click that edge loop, bring it down, then shift double click this edge loop, bring it down, and then we'll probably scale this one up a bit too. There we go. Now I'm gonna to switch to vertex mode to shape the side of the ear here. So this vertex needs to come out, and then these ones need to come down. So then you can continue to shape the ear. You can make it be a little bit more curvy this way. So if we put these vertexes in, that will make it have a little bit more round curvature. And then what I want to do is add the little bare ear spots. So I'm going to go back to face mode, then I'll select these six faces right here. I'll press Command or Control E to extrude. I'm going to scale this in. Then I'm going to press W. And I don't want to be on world. I definitely want to be on component selection. And then I'm going to orbit. And then I can move this in just a little bit just to start that. But I need to extrude again, so I'll press G or Command or Control E, scale this in. Then I'll press W and I'll kick that in. And then I can press R and scale it back up. If I press three, you can see we're starting to get that nice effect inside the ears. Now I need to add some eyes. We can either use extra objects or actually extrude them straight from this face. I think I'll keep this model simple and have everything extruded from here. So I can select these eyes, press Command or Control E, then I'll scale these, and then I want to go one more time, so I'll press G, and then I'll press W, and then I'm going to orbit, and then I'm just going to pull these out, press R to scale, and we can see what that looks like, and we need to move those pieces in, so we'll go back to box mode, and then we will press then we'll scale those in a little bit. I'm gonna to switch to vertex mode, and I'll go ahead and pull that front vertex out just a little bit. Now we have some nice eyes on there, and we can continue to model those. We can use the same technique to work on the paws on the top and bottom for this, and we can also do the same thing with the nose. All we do is we extrude a little bit right here, and then we add that to the bear. I'm gonna to continue to model on this, this bear still has a bit more modeling to do, but hopefully you can see how you can use simple extrudes, scaling, and rotations to make a model of a bear from a reference image.